All right, so, uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on with the car. The car been giving me problems left and right literally within the past two weeks. I have not been able to make it to school in the last two weeks because every two days I drive this car, give me problems. And now I think the turbo went, motor's not knocking, um, there's no head gasket leak, no nothing. I just don't know. Try to figure it out. <laughs> something like to cushion it because you don't want to scratch anything so okay. I knew the last one was going for Right, it's always the last one when you're doing something that always either folds or breaks or strips. Oh, shit. I could be damn near expected for shit to fall when it's the last part you gotta do. There's always one thing I forgot. All right, got both cams off. I just pretty much 214 mil uh, bolts. This right here with everything else and the pop cover. Alright, I don't have a thin enough 14 socket, so I'm gonna have to use the 3 8 I need the 3 8 with cheater bar. Now the head is ready to come off, but I still have to unhook the damn um coolant hoses, which I forgot to do. And I'm just not noticing this. Oh, there's oil. Blown turbo? Possibly a blown turbo? Yeah, that's bad. That's really bad. And I made this little magnet. It's a Phillips but the actual magnet had broke. So I used the other end and I just like taped it up like really, really uh, well. And though it's kind of starting to bend a little bit, starting to get a little, starting to get a little lint. All right, so now the head should come right off. The valves and everything else looks good still. There's oil everywhere. Egg gasket, oil. I cleaned off the block, but you can see that right there. This piston definitely warped. So, um, yeah. Uh, so what I'm about to do? I'm about to um jack the car up, drain the oil, and um start trying to take these pistons out. All right, as you can see, um, got the block off back on for the drink, well, for the bomb, 
and I drained the oil already so now I have to start attacking um, the tins on the oil pan to take off the oil pan here and I also got a little baggie or you know labeled pretty much so I don't know what is what more than likely I'm gonna put the oil pan back on once I um, get the pistons out now, how would you look at that two of the bolts came out All right, so you take all the tins off, and this should come right up. Even though I kind of had to tap it a little bit. But. All right, now that everything is off, well, not everything, but the oil pan is off. Um, I need to get to these two right here to drop the take off the oil pickup. These two right here as well, and then also these around the windage tray. I have something here. It was right on top of the windage tray. All right, so clearly I didn't seal this part of the oil pan gasket all the way properly, I guess. So here's the girdle. Um, wiped and cleaned it off. Definitely be time for new bearings. This one's a bit burnt. Obviously it has some scorching on it. The bolts for the girdle, there's some heavy duty 14. So I recommend a half inch uh, impact gun if you have one it's a 14 all six bolts uh, i don't have a half inch 13 so i gotta try my luck with the three eighths the rod bolts are 13s i'm like why the 14 the 14 kind of fit <laughs> so went down to the 12 that didn't fit so like ah 13 okay oh shit fucking arm can get caught Freaking free. Oh. All right, so for those wondering how to actually take the pistons out, really just push them out. <laughs> That's it. They go to 13s out. Prefer a rubber mallet to um, tap them out of the, um, the bottom bearings that they're bolted into and they'll jump right out and then you just use you can use a couple extensions and just put it in the cylinder wall well and then just push up and it'll come right out problem child that. you should know this block is savable just need pistons. God damn. Okay. All right, so this is piston number one. Um, I don't, I'm not sure how the piston ring's supposed to be, if it's supposed to be out like that. But either way, it was smoking anyways, but not severe as much as it was the other night. <laughs> Bad, really bad. Piston number two. Burn mark back there like crazy. The problem child, you're able to see this while it's in the block. Yep, bus wide open. Bus wide open. And then number four. Yep. Yep. And that is how you take out pistons. We learn together. <laughs> Drain all the oil from the oil pan. The rest of the oil that's left in it. And then 
just gonna bolt it back up. Not tight, but snug. smoke trail going down a boulevard also let me show you the head gasket the head gasket still look okay so the head gasket didn't even go it just the head lifted and the piston ring fried so that caused you know the compression to lift the head but uh yeah Yeah, so close the video out here. Don't let no one hold you back from your dreams. Don't let no one stop you from doing what you're doing. Keep gunning.